you know, I've heard that some people are talking about school fees doubling, mm. which is just nonsense. Um, uh, year on year, school, fee, school fees may increase, but by a small annual amount. That could be anywhere between 3 and 5%, not 20%. and I'm glad I've got a chance to explain to you in detail uh, what it means. So nobody wants to pay more school fees and nobody wants to pay more tax. But what the VAT uh, tax in the UK means is that for this year and from this year, parents are going to have to pay 20% tax on school fees. That doesn't mean they're going to have to pay 20% year on year on year. Uh, what schools are doing in the UK is reducing our cost base so that when parents pay that tax on top of their school fees, the net impact of the tax to parents can be anywhere between 10 and 15%, not 20%. Um, and as I said earlier, what we're all trying to do is to reduce our cost basis so that parents pay as little of that tax as possible. Fantastic. So from Catrum, for example, you yep. are increasing the fee by... So we are passing on 12% of the VAT to our parents. Um, what about business rates? Would, would that have a big impact? Or? Not really, no, and that's, that's something most schools have budgeted for over the last four or five years. But it's, it's not a new threat, so most of us have already made provision for that. You know, I've heard that some people are talking about school fees doubling, mm. which is just nonsense. Um, so this year, school fees will have to go up a bit more, to, to, uh, or, or the cost to parents will have to go a bit more because of that. But after that, we're back to normal. And once schools have adjusted their cost base this year, uh, year on year, school, fee, school fees may increase, but by a small annual amount. That could be anywhere between 3 and 5%, not 20%. So in line with inflation? In line with inflation, absolutely right. <laughs>